Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make another YouTuber statue, and this time, it's going to be PewDiePie. Now, I just want to issue a little disclaimer here before I start things off. I'm not 100% sure that this is PewDiePie's official skin. Hell, I'm not even sure if he plays Minecraft, but after caving in and searching around a bit on Nova Skins and Google and such, I've came to the conclusion that the skin that I'm about to show you how to make is either his official skin that he actually uses, or his most popular fan-made skin. Now, either way, nobody has any way of knowing, and by nobody I mean me. So he either has a skin or he doesn't, and if he doesn't, then this would seem to be the most plausible skin that he'd use anyway. So, what I'm really trying to say is, I'm sorry if I've got it wrong, but, you know, what can you do? I'm going to show you how to make it anyway. Let's get started. So, if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need black, dark grey, light grey, white, dark blue, cyan, yellow, and sandstone. And we'll need a few more colours later on, but we'll get to that when we come to it. So once you have your colours and you've figured out where you want to make it, you're going to want to start out with this little sequence. One black, two dark grey, two black two dark grey, one black. And once you have that, that will be the foundation of which we will build our unofficial slash official PewDiePie pattern pending. So once you have that, you want to stack an entire row of black on top of it. Then you want to take out your cyan for the next row. You want to have two cyan coming in from each side, like that. And you want to fill the rest of the middle section in with dark blue. Should just be four dark blue in the middle. Then. The next row is entirely cyan, and then the next row is similar to the first blue row. You want to do two cyan coming in towards the center, then you want to do two cyan in the actual center, and then you can fill the rest of the row in with dark blue. Then the next row, you want to do two cyan in the center, then fill the rest of the row in with dark blue. Next row is entirely cyan. Next row. Two dark blue in the middle, rest is cyan. And I will just give you a bit of a view of what we have so far since we're more than halfway through the legs. Pause that if you have to, make sure you've got it right. Next row is entirely cyan. Now the next row, slightly different. You want to do a single dark blue on each end and then fill the entire middle section in with cyan. Next row, you want to do a single cyan on top of each end, on top of that dark blue. And then you want to do two dark blue coming in towards the center. And the center wants to be cyan and that. I actually just made the same mistake that I made in uh, when I made the original version of this. It's almost the legs. PewDiePie's legs are slightly different, whether, whether this is fan-made or official. I'm going to stop saying that. PewDiePie's legs are slightly different. Um, and I made this mistake. What I thought was I thought his legs were only 11 blocks high, kind of like my statues, but his shirt actually comes down onto his legs, so on top of your cyan and your blue, you want to do an entire row of light grey. And they are the 12 blocks, or the 12 rows, which makes up uh, PewDiePie's legs. So once you have that, pause that if you have to, we're going to start on to... We're going to start moving on to the torso, and the torso is extremely easy because he has a short sleeve shirt which is uh, just made up of stripes. So, I'm going to do this the easy way. Pick a side, either side, left or right, doesn't matter. And on top of it, oh, don't do this controller. Why? Why? If it does it once, it does it, um, it, does it loads of times. I might have to whack it against the desk. But, uh, once you have your single row of light grey, what you want to do is on either side, take out your dark grey, and you want to do this pattern until you have went 12 rows high. So you want to, on top of the light grey, dark grey, top of the dark grey, light grey, so that's two, and we want, to, we want to repeat that same pattern that we have here until it's 12 blocks high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and it should finish on a light grey, like that. And that will make building the rest of the shirt very easy after we've just done this. So from the top light grey here, here's what you want to do. You want to do a dark grey coming to the right, then you want to do four sandstone, then you want to do one dark grey, and then one light grey. 
and that is the only like special row in the shirt. That's the only row that differentiates from the stripy pattern. So once you have that, all we have to do is fill the rows in. So with the corresponding colour, you just want to uh, fill in the row. Should go a little something like light grey, dark grey, light grey, dark grey, light grey, dark grey. Almost at the top. Hang on. And there we go. Nice and simple. That's uh, PewDiePie's torso. Nothing to it. The simplicity of it, even it, it could kind of go either way. I'm not sure whether this is fan made because it's so simple or whether, you know, he made it himself and he just could, really couldn't be asked to uh, spend a lot of time on it. I don't know. I don't know, but that's what you want to have so far. Pause that if you have to, make sure it's alright, and we can move on to the arms. So, arms, extremely simple, as you might imagine. Um, it's pretty much just sandstone and carrying on the stripy pattern when we reach nearer the top. So his arms, they don't start on this light grey here, they start on the dark grey. Um, as you might remember, the light grey uh, is part of his legs. So either side, you can start on either side since they're both, uh, since it's symmetrical. You just want to extend out by four with the sandstone, and I'll do it on this side as well. Extend out by four from that dark grey. And then, what you want to do is, you want to add seven rows onto the sandstone that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you've done that, you pretty much just want to carry on the stripy pattern from the shirt. So just have a look left, see how it carries over, and you can see there is nothing simpler than um, than the top part of this statue. There you go. Pause that if you have to. Time to move on to the other arm. So just seven rows of sandstone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should be eight rows of sandstone in total, and then you can just carry on the uh, pattern from the shirt. Cool. So once you have this to show you all of it, it is time to move on to the back part of the statue. Very simple, very easy. So, to make the statue 3D, here's what you want to do. You want to take out your black, and you want to come to the side of the statue here, the bottom side of his foot, and you want to come, come back from the corner with the black, two rows, and then once with the, once with the dark grey, like that. And you want to do the same on the other side as well, like the other side of the foot. Two black, one dark grey, and then just move to the back of the statue like this. Then what you want to do is, these two dark grey here, you're going to want to connect them together. You're going to want to do two dark grey coming towards the centre, and you're going to want to do two black in the centre. So that kind of like makes up the foundation of what, he what the back of the statue will be. So... It wants to look like that from the side, and there you have it. So if you've never made a statue of mine before, this is how it works. We've just made the entire front, we've just made it 3D now. We're going to build the back up just like we did the front. Then we're going to do the sides, then we're going to do the head, and then we have our statue. So on top of this, uh, it's actually getting dark, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip out the bed, I'm going to sleep, and I'm going to be back when it's light. Alright, now that it's daytime, it's time to move on to the rest of PewDiePie's back. So, once you're at this point here, once you've got the first row of the back made up like this, you're going to want to stack an entire row of black on top to finish off the back of PewDiePie's shoes. And once you have that, you're going to want to do an entire row of cyan. Then, for the next row, you're going to want to do two cyan coming in from each side, going towards the middle, leaving four blocks, four blocks in the middle, which you want to fill in with dark blue, like that. The next row is very similar to the previous, except that you want to do two dark blue in the middle, and the rest of it wants to be cyan, so three cyan on each side. Next row, a single cyan on each end like that, and then fill, uh, fill the rest of the row in with cyan. Next row, very similar to the previous, except with the single dark blue, you're going to want to place it one step closer to the middle, and then you can fill the rest of the row in. The next row carries on the same principle as the previous. Single blue, uh, one step closer to the center, rest of the uh, rest of the row, cyan. 
The next row is slightly tricky to explain. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to work from left to right, this way to that way. So what you want to do is you want to take out the cyan. You want to do one cyan, one dark blue, one cyan, two dark blue, one cyan, one dark blue, one cyan to give you something that looks like that and I will show you. That's what we have so far for the legs. Not a complicated pattern that last row but just easy to explain doing it um, step by step like that. Cool. Pause that if you have to. Make sure you've got it right. We've only got two more rows of blue to do. Next row, very simple. Single dark blue, each end. Rest, cyan. Next row, also very simple. Single dark blue, one towards the center again. And the rest, cyan. And that, after we have done one single light gray on top of our, on top of our legs, very similar to how we did on the front, will be the entire leg portion of our statue. So, I don't know if I can get any closer without... It's different on my screen to what actually, like, to what records. You get a slightly bigger view, but on my screen, it's like, it's as compressed as, as it's going to get. So, that's, um... Yeah, that's as close as I can get, I think. There you go. Pause that if you have to. Let's move on. So, the back. The actual back back of the back. Very simple, including the arms and the shoulders. It is exactly the same, except the only principle that's different up at the top here, where that is sandstone, on the back it is, uh, is dark grey wool. So, all we're going to do is, we're going to copy what we have on the front onto the back. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to cut it out, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Just to, um, because, well, oh, god damn. Oh, uh, controller. You are going... Uh, it's going to be taking a one-way trip to the wall in a second, I swear. I've actually contemplated shooting the thing. It's going to happen once I get a wire controller. I'm just going to... Uh, uh. Anyway, now that we're at the top here, and of course, all I was doing, as you can see side by side, all I was doing was carrying the pattern on, copying what I had on the front onto the back. Um, simple as that. And now that I'm at the top here, instead of having any sandstone, the row is almost entirely uh, dark grey, um, which gives you something that looks like that. And now what we have to do, I'm going to fill um, the top of the shoulders in while I'm up here. Um, the, the arms are the same as they are at the top and on the back. They um, doesn't differ whatsoever. It's kind of unfortunate. I've mentioned this in a few statues. Um... You know, regardless of whether this is the official one or not, whether it's, you know, something that PewDiePie's designed or had designed for him, one that he uses, or whether it's just, um, user, not user, sorry, um, fan created, people neglect the backs a lot. Something that I tried to, uh, try to work on. I think the back should at least, at least if... If it's not going to be, you know, anything spectacular, it should look at least, you know, reasonably different. I know that the legs are different at the back, but, you know, the actual top portion of it, not um, not changed at all. But there you go, um, give you a bit of a view at the top. There you are. Nothing too complicated. Let's move on to the sides once you have pan out for you. That's what the back should look like. So the sides, there is... Um, Surprisingly, a little bit of detail. So once you once you're here, pick a side, any side doesn't matter. They're both the same. Uh, you're going to want to on top of your single black row, do another black row, and then we're going to work in the left column, going up first, going vertical, and then we're going to do the right. So the left one, what you want to do is you want to do four cyan going up until you hit this uh, dark blue on the side. Then you're going to want to do one dark blue, one cyan, one dark blue going up. Then you want to do two cyan. And then one light grey, as you might imagine, to carry the shirt around. Then, you know, I'll just give you a view of it. There you go. Then, the uh, the right column, you want to do two dark blue going up. One cyan, one dark blue. Rest is cyan. Until you hit the light grey and you just want to fill that in. Uh, I went fast for that, but there you go. There's a side view. You should have no trouble whatsoever. There's, there's so little rows to worry about. You should be able to do it quite easily by eye. Now... The hands, the arms rather, you want to fill the bottom of the hands in with sandstone, 
and you just want to fill the side of the arms and quite logically you want to fill you want to fill it up with sandstone until you hit the end of the sandstone at the side of the arms and then you just want to carry the pattern around uh, carry the stripy pattern around the arms like that. I'm going to do the top of the shoulders in a, in a sec but there you go that's the side of the arm just in case you can't figure it out and I'm going to go and quickly do the other side of PewDiePie here so we did an entire row of black and now I don't have to look at my plans because I can just look that way and that's what I meant by they're both the same so this right column here I did was it four, four cyan it looks like one dark blue, one cyan, one dark blue, a couple of cyan then I did light grey Looking through again, straight there, couple of dark blue, one cyan, one dark blue, some cyan right up until there, and then light grey wool at the top. Then we fill in the bottom of the hands with sandstone, just like this. Then we fill in to the top of the sandstone with sandstone, right there. Then just fill in the pattern, oops, yep, just carry around the uh, stripy pattern until we hit the top of the arm, and we are good at that and there you go all of the side done now we've just got to do the top of the shoulder top of the shoulder we have quite the predicament because well the stripes for, for that pattern to carry on to the top of the shoulder um, you'd need an odd number of uh, an odd number of rows which we don't have so like for it, you get to choose where you want the uh, dark grey row to go either on the front or the back but there's no real way to have uh, to have the pattern carried on so you know, unfortunately, you know, if it was up to me, these skins they'd be uh they'd be five blocks thick, but they're but they're not. There you go. That's why it looks like on an aerial view. You could, I don't know, turn the like make the pattern and go that way if you wanted to, but I don't know. It's just the top of the shoulders. I don't think anyone cares. I don't. Not really. But there you go. That's um that's the entire body section of PewDiePie. Easy enough to do. Barely took any time whatsoever. What's the recording on? Yeah, there you go. Like 18 minutes or something. So there you go. Time to move on to the next part. We get to move on to PewDiePie's head now. Once you've, you know, completely... You've done the sides, you've done the front, you've done the back. Once you're exactly where I am, here's what you want to do. You want to come to the top of the torso here. the On top of the original eight blocks that you, uh, that you build, built upon. And you're going to want to stack... Got the wrong colour there. You're going to want to do eight yellow on top of the original eight blocks. So there. Make sure it doesn't go onto the arms. And then with the yellow, you're going to want to bring the uh, the row that you just built the built the eight blocks on. You're going to want to build uh, bring it forward by two rows like that. So it wants to overhang the body by two, and it's going to overhang the two uh, the back by two as well when we get there because for some reason Minecraft skins. They have the weird giant cube heads that I will never understand. Um, but it's getting dark, I'm going to sleep, and then I will be back. Alright, so once you're at this point here, once you've got like these three rows of yellow all in the right place, um, this, this front row of yellow is actually going to be like the first row of PewDiePie's face, which reminds me, what you're going to want to do is you want to discard both of your blues and you want to replace them with your dark green and your lime green because uh, we're going to be needing those for his eyes later on so like I said this is going to be the first row of his face and we want to build up from here um, so we're going to be working left to right on this um, on this most outward row and you're going to want to do one yellow one sandstone one yellow two sandstone one yellow one sandstone one yellow to make up the second row of his face now the next row, you want to do two single yellow on top of these uh, sandstone here in the middle. And you're going to want to fill the rest of the row in with sandstone like that. Next row, you're going to want to do a single sandstone on each end. Two sandstone in the middle. And then um, on the most outer blocks, these ones, you're going to want to place white. And in between there, you're going to want to do light green like that. Next row, you're going to want to pretty much duplicate what you did on the previous row, except on the light green, you're going to want to do dark green to give his eyes uh, that two shade sort of sort of look there. Next row, very simple. 
Um, on top of this um, left left uh, left eye here, or his right eye technically, you're just going to want to place a single sandstone on top of the white bit. The rest is yellow. Like that. And then, after that, the next two whole rows are yellow. So one and two. On the actual uh, statue, on the actual skin, sorry, there's supposed to be a discernible colour to be able to tell that he has his eyebrow kind of raised in his hair and um, uh, like another eyebrow above here. But I tried using gold and I tried using orange and no colour really fits. So I just left it yellow. But if you wanted to, you could knock this, 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 this and this out. And uh, you could put in some sort of eyebrow colour. Maybe brown would work or something. I, I don't know. But that's really up to you. But there you go. That's PewDiePie's face. Now it's, uh, there, there. Now it's time to turn his head into a giant cube. So we want to come back here to the yellow and what you want to do is with the sandstone you want to bring the yellow back until it reaches the top of his back here. Then you want to bring it over one more row. Then what you want to do is the next row is going to be the working row. So what you want to do um, on top of um, like coming back this way on top of the sandstone you want to do one yellow on each end, and then the rest of the row simply wants to be sandstone, like this. So the side wants to be like that, and the back wants to be like that, and you know if you've went right, if it overhangs too, just like the head does there. Now, what you want to do is, you want to, on the sandstone here, on like the left part of it, the part closest to the back, you want to stack free sandstone on top of it, going to the right there, and you just want to do a single sandstone going up, uh, going up like that in the middle, and you want to do the same on the other side as well. So free coming coming towards uh, coming from the back, and then a single in the middle, just by like building a little tiny pyramid sort of thing. And then what you want to do is you pretty much want to take out the yellow, and you want to uh, mark the lines in to turn PewDiePie's head into a cube. So, raising the corners up, lining it up with the top of the head, and then uh, just turning it into a cube like this. And once you've done that with the yellow, you can proceed to fill all of the rest of it in with yellow, because there is, well, there's nothing more to do with the head. And we are almost done after, after this is all filled in, um, because all we have to do after this is we have to throw a headset on him. And we're good to go. I mean, hell, you had to have something interesting about the skin. So just filling these in now. I know it's taking a while. I'd usually cut this out, but honestly, I don't want to. Ah! Come on, place something on the right. There we go. Well done. Finally managed to figure out the controller. And there we go. So that's what the head wants to look like, just giving you a bit of a quick rotation of it. I'll speed this up, there we go. Quick rotation, that's what the head wants to look like. Mainly, mainly yellow, apart from the face and the little bit on the, uh, on the sides and the little bit of sandstone on the back of the head. But now, what you want to do is, you want to take out your dark grey. And you want to come to the face, and this block here, like on the second row, this block of sandstone, that wants to be dark grey, you want to raise it coming outwards, and to the left of it wants to be black. Then what you want to do is, you kind of want to come to the side of the head here, and it does matter which side, well I guess it doesn't matter which side, you could have the microphone spanning from either side, but I, do, I chose this side, typically it comes around, um, comes around the right side of your head. But, um... Yeah, you want those two blocks there, and then on the side here, with the black, you want to make it come five blocks, like this way. So one, two, three, four, five. And I wouldn't personally um, do that corner block, so I'd if you've done that, I'd knock that out, so it's just, it's less blocky, it's more like, I don't know, it just looks right. Then what you want to do is, um, on top of here, I mean, I'll, I'll just do it, it'll just be easier to do, to be honest. You want to make the ear cup, cough, cough, which is basically, basically that, it's just a square 
which you can fit a single uh, dark grey in. So it's like free, 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 and that wants to connect at the bottom to the um, to the black, like the microphone portion. Then what you want to do is the um, the middle block, at the top of the the ear cuff. You want to bring it to the top of the head, and just like with the microphone, you don't want it to um, you don't want it that corner block there. You want that knocked out, just so it looks looks like bendy. It looks more realistic, and uh, you want to bring it over the top of the head like I've done. And you want to bring it down to the side of the head in the exact same position. So it wants to be located. Um, you want to come down by four blocks. One, two, three, four. And that uh, that includes the top part of the ear cup. Cup? Cuff? Which is it? Cup or cuff? I don't know why I'm blanking on this word. But there you go. That's what. Even easier looking at it. It lines up with the sandstone on the side of the head. There you go. And uh, just to give you a bit of a 360 view, I'll go around it. There you go. Yeah, I mean it's not a bad skin statue at the end of the day. It's um, you know it looks it looks all right. It looks it looks like him as much as uh, as much as a Minecraft skin can look like anyone. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you know it's not the most complicated. But, you know, it's, what can I say, it looks like him. Not my favourite, but there is Sparkles, one of my favourites. Have I got any stuff in this world? Nah, this is a pretty empty world actually. I was thinking that I actually had a plethora of statues that direction to the left near Sparkles, but I don't. Um, but there you go, there's PewDiePie. Hope it's the right one. I'm not entirely sure, as you know, but there you go. Thanks for watching, and see ya. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should check out some of my other stuff. I've made plenty of pixel art, YouTubers, houses, tomahawks, tanks, the list goes on. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube partner, hit up the link in the description.